guys, it's T here from Teeny Daily, and today we're going to be doing a Christmas SFX makeup look, you guys. Ooh. We are so in the Christmas spirit. Check out my nails. Look at how cute these are. They are, of course, from Spark of Nails. They are adorable. So we are deep into Christmas, you guys. It is, what, November 20th today? I cannot even believe that it's almost a month away from Christmas. So diving right on in, I wanted to do, can you guess, can you guess? Well, you probably know from the thumbnail, but a Christmas skeleton. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> I wanted to do a Christmas skeleton. So we have these gorgeous prosthetics right here, baby. Look at this. Om nom, om nom nom nom. Merry Christmas. <laughs> So we're gonna apply that to our face and then we are going to go ham with the painting. And I kind of want to incorporate some of the design from the nails, especially the peppermint. So first off, I went in with the Elber's Washable Glue Stick and I covered my eyebrows with two layers because we do not want to rip off our eyebrows, y'all. Now, before we go in with the prosthetic, I want to map out where I'm going to be painting. Now, normally, you would paint these areas right here, your eye holes area, your cheekbones. You would paint those black, but since we're going Christmassy, I wanna paint those green. I wanna paint those areas a dark green. All right, now we're gonna go in with the Mayron Cream Blend Stick in green and fill in those areas. And I'm just using this eyeshadow brush from Crown to get into the smaller areas. Oh yeah. Oh, juicy. Juicy, 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 juicy. And you can even take it bigger than you think you're gonna need because it's better to take it bigger than to, you know, have it too small and then you have to go back in underneath the prosthetic there's no bueno, y'all. No bueno. Now it's time to apply our prosthetic. We're going to take Prosade. You can use spirit gum if you choose to. Um, I like Prosade. I feel like it just gives me a little bit more of a uh, closer stick, if you will. And just like with liquid latex, you guys, this will ruin your brush, so make sure you're using a brush that you don't care about too much. I'm also putting some in the inside there, you guys. Spreading it around. Should look about like that. Let it get tacky wacky. While it's getting tacky, I do want to go in and quickly set some of these areas, mainly our eyes, because I can go back in here and do this, but mainly our eyes. And then I'm taking this shade right here called Sour from Jeffree's Jawbreaker palette. And we're just gonna go ham and set that. All right, we want to make sure we line it up nicely. Turn my head really quick. Start pressing down from the center, working your way out. Don't worry about the edges just yet. We're gonna take care of those bad boys. Oh, look at how cool that looks. Spooky Christmas skeletons. Sends presents down your spine. Ooh, presents. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna do the same thing to the bottom. Oh, for the bottom, you actually wanna make sure you do not connect these. You're gonna place it about on my chin, but on my lower lip as well. So it should look about like this. Num, 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 num. Give me candy canes. Num, 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 num. <laughs> okay. So put your prosade on, let it get tacky wacky, and then apply it to the bottom of your face. And I'll be right back. You guys, how cool do I look already? 
Um, nom 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 nom. All right, now we want to take a little bit of liquid latex and a disposable wedgie. You can find these from CVS, Walmart, Walgreens, etc. And we're just going to put a little teeny bit to blend out these edges. So I'm dipping the wedgie with the little skinny side into the liquid latex. And I'm just tapping it on the edge. And that's just going to help it blend a little bit better into our skin. So we're going to paint. Alright guys, so for painting most of the prosthetic, as we learned while doing the alien one, whew, it is best to use water activated paints or alcohol activated paints. Not so much the cream because the prosthetic kind of just sucks it up. And also because there's so many fine detail lines, which I'll zoom in in a minute so you could see them. We really want to make sure all those show up. So we're going to be going in with the Wolf FX water activated paints today. You guys know how much I love this bad boy. I see you can see the detail better now. Look at that. It's got beautiful lines and detail in there. Oh, I love it. I love it, honey. You guys see my new water bottle? Oh, it's a Christmas light bulb. <laughs> but wait, there's more. Oh, let me turn the, the light down so you can see. Hold on. Look at this. You see that? So yeah. I'm a wee bit obsessed with it. <laughs> mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Peppermint. Same thing. I love the Graftopian Pro Paints. I have pretty much all the colors. <laughs> and um, so we're going to go in with this one. It's called White Swan. And kind of create a base of white going on around us. It's always better to start off with a smaller amount of water and add more if you need it. Oh yes, this is cool. So we're creating a base layer just to give us a nice little tint of white going on here. taking another one of the disposable wedgies and padding see how it gets rid of those strokes let me turn down the light even more see how it gets rid of those strokes and really seeps it in to the prosthetic it's also gonna help it dry a little bit faster yeah let's make it a little bit darker this is the ColourPop gel liner in Vetus Oh yeah, see that's a little bit darker. I feel like I'm picky my nose. <laughs> it's like, if you're gonna pick it, get all up on in there and get them goodies. We're gonna have to get a small, teeny, tiny detail brush for that. All right, since we have that red out, let's go ahead and put some here. I'm gonna continue using this detailed brush that way I can make sure we don't accidentally get the red anywhere we don't want it. And I'm going to blend it into the green right here. You can do this with your finger. You can do this with a sponge. And then it, again with this detailed brush and this Venus liner from ColourPop, we're going to stick it in between the teeth. So I started doing some green veins here. Now we're going to go in with the red and this is the ColourPop liquid liner in Try Me, which is basically red. And with a very light hand, you guys, we're going to start tracing out all these little lines and detail. Are you ready? Already. <laughs>
take some eyeshadow and kind of create some lines coming down here. I don't know. I'm just, I'm winging it. You guys, I'm going with it. So we're going to go in with Licorice now from the Jeffree Star Jawbreaker palette. so spooky and angry oh who took the last candy cane no 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 <laughs> all right so we're gonna go in with two different shades of green and red for the teeth this is called teaspoon and this is ColourPop gel liners again and this one is joyride and they may be some subtle differences but guys, I promise they really do make a difference. It adds different dimensions. Because when you're just working with three colors, white, red, and green, to give yourself more dimension and, you know, make it look more 3D, more cool, you go in with different shades. So now we're going to go in with these two shades on the teeth. Look at my teeth, guys. They look so freaking cool. But they are blending a little too much into the green here. So we're going to add some glitter. You guessed it, guys. Glitter. It's not a T-bone tutorial unless we got glitter. So we're going to use a little bit of liquid latex and apply some Strove Cosmetics glitter in Emerald Dream. And Empire, look at these. Oh, it's gonna look so cool, so cool, so cool, so cool. All right, now everywhere we put the liquid latex on the red, we're gonna put <gasps> glitter, we're gonna put glitter. Oh my God, that makes me so happy. Look at that, look at that. So I only put the liquid latex on the red for right now. That way we could do one color at a time. I feel like it just adds some more Christmassy. You know what I mean? Cause like part of Christmas is glitter. Oh, I love it. I am so obsessed with the way the glitter looks. Magnifique, magnifique you guys. I feel like it's just pulling it together to really accentuate that this is a Christmas look. All right, so we're going in with the Wet n Wild 40 palette and we're taking, ooh, the shade right here and kind of add some dimension, some kind of bronzing, outlining going on in here. It just adds some dimension with the different shade it's very subtle but it really looks nice and it has glitter all right now we're going to be going in with the mayron cream foundation stick again this time in the shade bright red and we're going to create our peppermint <music>
is the finished look. I am so obsessed, you guys. The detail work. I'm so glad I like went into it and did all the greens and the reds. We have a Christmas skeleton. I love it, you guys. We achieved our Christmas skeleton. This is exactly what I wanted, what I envisioned in my head, and it bounces off the nails perfectly. Look at this. <laughs> it looks so good. Peppermint, peppermint. Oh! I absolutely love that we can still get freaky, spooky, and all that creepy, even though it's the holiday season. It's the Christmas season. It's the holiday season. And Santa Claus is coming round to give you skeleton bones on the ground. <laughs> Just kidding. That's not the word. <laughs> you better be careful. Or Krampus gonna come and get y'all skeleton bone. <laughs> I'm having so much fun with this look, you guys. I'm gonna do a TikTok and just play around with it for a little bit. It's actually really comfortable and I can... Look, I can eat. I can drink with my cool little light bulb drink. <laughs> Alrighty, you guys. Happy Friday. I hope you have a fantabulous weekend. Do something that makes y'all smile today. You guys stay wonderful and have a gorgeous day. Bye, guys. Mwah, mwah, mwah. <laughs> Spooky holiday skeleton brings shivers and cheer down your spine. <laughs>